Hi, I'm Dave Anderson, and I wanted to address this great question of why a monopoly doesn't have a supply curve. A supply curve maps the relationship between price and quantity. So yeah, at price one, with this supply curve, quantity one would be supplied, and at price two, quantity two would be supplied, and that would be independent of what's going on with demand. Demand can increase, the supply curve still holds. Here's a graph for a monopoly, and at price one, quantity one will be supplied. Now, suppose that demand were different. Suppose the demand curve looked like this. D2 is the demand, and we know that the marginal revenue curve for a straight line demand curve is halfway between the demand curve and the vertical axis. So the demand curve would have a, this new one would have a marginal revenue curve that looks like this. Okay, check out the new situation. We have a new demand curve. Marginal revenue equals marginal cost, as I've drawn it, at the same quantity as before. But what price will they charge? We know that a monopoly always sees where marginal revenue equals marginal cost, goes down to the quantity axis to find the quantity, and then up to the demand curve and over to the price axis to see the price. With the new demand curve, Marginal revenue equals marginal cost here. We go up to the demand curve and over, and P2 is the price that maximizes profit for this monopoly. But the quantity is exactly the same. This monopoly would supply quantity one at both price two and at price one. So we can't map a certain relationship between the price and the quantity supplied for the monopoly. I hope that helps. See ya.